Hello, this is Brad Williamson again, and uh, this is another video in, in supporting the development of quantitative skills in AP Biology. In this particular one, we're looking at using the online application Plotly to plot error bars, um, and we're going to use this demonstration. We're going to use the uh, artificial selection data for that. And uh, well, let's go grab some data first. So here is the spreadsheet that we've been using, uh, if you've seen in any other video on this. Over here is my first and second generation trichome numbers in, uh, in fast plants. Um, and here is the descriptive data, the descriptive uh, statistics, excuse me. And so I'm just, and here's what I did with the spreadsheet. This is not, some people find this difficult. I mean, the spreadsheet did a perfectly nice job with it. But if we come over here and I collect this data, I'll show you how easy it is to do this in Plotly. I'm going to right click on this and copy it. Now I'm going to go to Plotly, which is a web app. As I said, here is the URL, plot.ly. You'll have to set yourself up an account. I've already logged in. And I'm now going to put my data here. Now I've hit that, and I'm going to have to use a keyboard shortcut here. I can't use my mouse. I'm going to put Command-V or Control-V, depending on if you're a PC or a Mac. And the data comes in just like that. It is that easy. I'm going to spread this out a little bit so those don't. Uh, word wrap and there's the data now the problem is notice that these the plotly is organized in columns and what I want to graph I want my x values to be first and second generation and I want my means to be my y values well I don't have those over here and I want to choose those so one way to do that is to transpose my data and when you transpose your data your rows will become columns your columns become rows boom just like that and now I can come in here and say, okay, let's make a plot. Let's make a, a line plot. And for my X value, I'm just going to click right there. I've got these values. For my Y value, I'm going to do the mean. And oh, look, error bars. And what I want to put in the error bars, two standard errors. And I, that's my error of Y values. Check that out. And I just simply say plot. Uh, excuse me, I come over here and say plot. Boom, there it is. First gen, second gen, already labeled. Click right here to enter a title. And over here, an axis label. Right, let's see here. There we go. And I could, I could put an x-axis label on here, but I'm not going to. There's other things you can do. You can make these larger. Oh, did you see that? You see that? This is actually an interactive graph. You can actually put this on a web page if you want, and it'll still be interactive. But if you just want to take a picture of it, you like it the way it is right now, I don't, but I'm not going to take time to fix it. You just come right up here and download a picture of it. it takes a picture. And I now have it here on my... Um, on my desktop, ready to go. And that's how you go. That's how you use Plotly. Hope that works for you.